What is up guys, so after using Mountain Lion for about almost a day, I kind of want to give you all my thoughts and overview of all the cool stuff that I found kind of interesting and some of the hidden features I guess maybe y'all did or did not know, I'm not sure, but kind of just want to go over everything. So first off, if we begin, of course, let me just show you, of course, this is OS 10 version 10.8, which is also known as Mountain Lion. So if we do click up here on the Apple, um, we do have the software update here as usual, but it, once you do click on there, it actually pulls up your Mac App Store now. So that is pretty interesting. It now checks for all your updates in here. Of course, this will be just updates for your Mac apps that are downloaded from here. So now let's move on to the actual apps that were released. Here is Reminders. Of course, you may be familiar with this if you are on iOS or if you use iOS on your mobile device. But what this actually does is basically you just add reminders. As you see here, I've made a little example for a grocery list. So we got the milk, the eggs, you can check them off if they are completed and all that. But what's cool about this is, of course, everything syncs together with iCloud. So everything seems to work well with your iOS device. So say you made a list right here. I can actually have it instantly on my iPhone or iPad and all that good stuff. So that is pretty awesome. I love that feature that, I mean, I love how everything just syncs together now. So let's go ahead and get out of here and open up the notes. Of course, we do have notes now. So you can add different notes and all that good stuff, whatever you want to do, little note taking stuff. And that will also sync directly to everything, all your devices that are hooked up with your iCloud. And that is pretty awesome. I love that. And we also have Game Center, which I really do not care about. I really don't play many games on my Mac. And I hardly even play games on my iPhone and iPad. Well, actually, on my iPad, I play more games. But um, I really don't see myself playing any games on the Mac. So this is kind of useless for me, but whatever. I mean, it's, it's there now. So now we actually have Messages. Messages is pretty awesome. I love this because, of course, we can actually send messages via your Mac. And you can send it to any iOS user. So if they have an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, then you can actually text them through this. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to send a message to myself from my iPhone. So you see there, I just messaged myself from there. So let's go ahead and send one more. And that is pretty nice. I love that feature because you can actually pick up your conversation if you're on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch and pick it up straight on your iMac or your Mac, whatever Mac you're using. But anyways, that is a pretty cool feature. So let's actually check out this other feature which is Notification Center. This is something really big that was released and uh, I see here we actually have click to tweet and because Twitter of course is integrated with this and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and test this out I'm gonna send myself one more message and um, test this notification center out so let me send myself a message I see there there's my notification let me actually get out of here and then send another one so the notification will pop up right there on the top right which is pretty nice uh, this works for all your apps like mail and Twitter and of course your iMessages everything you'll get notified and then it'll all be right here on the side so that is pretty cool right there and you can also enable that with some gestures if you have the trackpad and all that so that's pretty nice that comes in handy another thing is they did actually uh, have airplay mirroring now so I actually don't have an Apple TV at the moment but Anyways, what this actually does is basically you have a little um, AirPlay icon up here and that is of course if you have the Apple TV and it's all connected to the same network of course and you can actually stream everything that's on your Mac straight to that Apple TV and it streams up to 1080p HD so that is freaking awesome. I love that. So I can be watching a movie or I can be doing whatever and just stream it straight to my Apple TV. So that is pretty legit. I love that feature. 
Another cool thing is, of course, we have dictation. So let's test out dictation real quick and open up our notes once again. Take this out. And if we double tap on the function key, the FN key on your keyboard, double tap that. And now we will test this out and see how well this picks up my voice. So this is a test for dictation on the new mountain lion, which is freaking awesome. So yeah. So now let's see what it picked up. So there you go. And now we will test this out and see how well this picks up my voice. So it seemed like it picked up everything really well. So this is really useful. This dictation is going to be really useful for when you're typing emails. And of course, now that iMessage is integrated with Mountain Lion, um, that is really awesome. I love that. I love this voice dictation because, like I said, it's going to be really useful. And let's actually test it on Safari real quick. So let's go ahead and open up a new window and let's see. So actually here's another cool little feature about Safari. It actually has a new feature called Smart Search Field, which allows you to basically search both a website or just a Google search straight from just that little bar right there. So that is pretty nice. I love that feature now that it's actually on Safari. Safari is actually getting better and better as time goes. Um, it actually runs really fast on my Mac now. So yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at another little cool option here. Let's we got share. We can share everything now. So say maybe you're on the YouTube channel and you want to share it via iMessage, you can do so. So if we hit that, it will actually pop up right there. You can send it to whoever you want. I have the URL right there. And also you can tweet it out if you want to tweet it out to all your little followers right there. So that is really awesome. I love that. And also it has now iCloud tabs. So what this is, is if you're on a website here, you can pick up straight on your iDevice, like your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and open up the tabs that you had open. So everything syncs all well together with iCloud. So I really love that. Another cool thing that I found out about Safari is the little pinching. You actually pinch and then you can actually browse through all your little tabs that you have open. So it's really easy to access different tabs that you have open just like that with a pinch and then you can go right back to it or if you just want to get out of there you can actually go to the other tab and all that good stuff. So that is a really awesome feature on Safari. But anyways guys that is a couple things um, out of like 200 plus features that I found pretty interesting. So overall guys, my opinion on Mount Lion is that it is really awesome. I love the fact that everything just syncs well together with your iOS device and vice versa. Um, everything just works. Everything is so simple, so easy to use and it is just awesome. For 20 bucks, you're, you're upgrading to something really good. So I highly suggest to upgrade to Mount Lion after using it for a while. It is really nice. So let me know what your favorite feature is in the comment section below. And as always, hit that little like button in the bottom left if you like this video and show me that you like it. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button up top so you'll be notified when I come out with my latest video. But other than that, um, that is going to be it for this video. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.